Oh my gosh, dude. I'm shaking. Uh, five hey, minutes in. Oh, he stinks. Hey, no, I just shit myself. Okay, that is, all right. Oh, oh let me, oh, one second. Am I recording now? Yeah. Come on, girl. Come on, girl. Is that the wind blowing out? <laughs> it's blowing out. Oh, he's going. Going? Going. Going, going, gone. <laughs> this moment right here. Potentially the biggest mistake in my uh, fishing career. Just got set up fishing for maybe five minutes. Hooked into what, swear to gosh dang it, was the bottom of the lake. Had the GoPro on my head. Hit the button. Nothing happened. Forgot to put a battery and the GoPro. Fishing 23 feet of water, Keweenaw Bay. Obviously, you know, we caught bird, but we were not fishing for sturgeon. You're not allowed to fish for sturgeon anywhere in the UP. <sighs> as far as ice fishing goes, though, we are currently one for two on sturgeon. About, I think about two, three years ago now, hooked into one, spent almost two hours fighting it on Lake Winnebago in Wisconsin and lost it. Thank the sweet Lord baby Jesus though, David was quick on the trigger with his cell phone, recorded the whole like, I think it was like a 9-10 minute fight, still haven't figured out how to get the video from his cell phone to the computer, but as soon as we do that, we will bring you the sturgeon fight, it could be in the middle of summer, but we're going to bring it to you, regardless of what we have to do, we're going to figure it out, even if we have to edit it on his phone and put it on too, we're, we're, we're going to make it happen, but anywho, back into the fish. Burbski. Probably. Oh, that's oh, the most burbot I've ever seen. Yeah, little, look at that little snaker. <laughs> it was, it was a burbot though. Were you, were you just, was it just laying <laughs> on the bottom? That's sick in it, yeah. Hmm. Wow, look at oh, that one. Oh, you snake. Oh, that's you, not, yeah, you're <laughs> slimy. <laughs> Are you sure that's not a baby sturgeon? That's what I'll go with. <laughs> hey, calm down, bud. I'm trying to help you out. Okay, there are indeed burbot here. That's a, that's a good start. Woohoo, look at that monster! We need tally. Long Obviously, long we're throwing that back. Um, what can we it's tally nice with? It's throw them back, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, God, I'm God. Oh! Good one, 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 good one. Oh, good one, good one, good one, good one, good one. Go. Whoa! Gotta jump in here real quick and explain why I was just kind of screaming like a maniac right there. This is a tip for anybody that posts YouTube videos, posts 60 second Instagram videos, even post video to Facebook. Obviously, I mean, most people know that you cannot attach copyrighted, you know, manually attach, edit in copyrighted music to your videos. And I had to learn this, this lesson the hard way, even if, let's say there's a guy 400 yards away with a boombox blaring music and you're trying to record a video and your camera picks up that recorded sound, you can still get in trouble for copywriting. At least with YouTube, you get three strikes and then you're done monetizing YouTube for the rest of your life, unfortunately. Fishing was pretty slow. So in the downtime, we had the phone going with some music. Usually turn it down before I hit the record button. Unfortunately, didn't get it turned down all the way, so I had to scream like a maniac to cover up the music sound. Just a tip for you guys, but back to the fishing action. Even bigger than the last one. Going the right direction. Oh, maybe not. That's <laughs> shaking. Getting mean. Could it be a lake trout? Getting mean. Could, could it be a lake trout? Oh, there's a small one. Oh, 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 oh. that might get that well. No, it's about the same size as the last one, but it's a female, I think. Watch it there, bud. Not bad, not bad. Thanks for having me set up on a deep side. <laughs> you kind of sat down on that chair before I could. <laughs> oh, is that what happened? You got tingles over it's there? It's not like I was Negative. Oh, I do have um, 
Yes. Let me just find out which one of these 918 pockets that they're in though. Here we go. This one is However you want, matter however many you want to clean. I don't know if I want to clean any. <laughs> Fair. <laughs> and the one nice thing though is they shouldn't freeze. Okay. Oh. Oh, the tungsten tubby strikes the trout and pout. <laughs> like, holy shit. Is that yours? That you just dropped? I think so. <laughs> Caught her on the drop down. <laughs> At least I caught one that wasn't attached. <laughs> How many fish have you caught? <laughs> Here, lift up. You might have me. No? I check it though. I definitely had something though. Yeah, I had something. Because I watched it hit three times, and that's what I said. That's why I said yo yo yo. Great. Well, I missed two. Those like six minutes. Alex, right? Alex looked. Looks like. Eh. A little nicer, nicer. Whoa! That's a 20. Yeah, maybe. We'll see. Oh, yeah, that's more six minutes and five, so you're wrong. <laughs> just, just so just sort of clear. Alright. And if you're asking for butter, yeah, I'm a little butter. <laughs> I don't know what butter means. I feel some players there, but. Two in a row, man, that she. Two good ones. I gotta mark the tally. Give the tally whacker. Dude, I think we need to move over like Bob. <laughs> <laughs> like, honestly, I'm dead serious. We, yeah, we just need to move and make sure Alex is on this side. <laughs> just pivot? Yep. <laughs> I played basketball once. I can pivot. Pivot, though, pivot to a sure travel. Right oh, you're good. Just wait. <laughs> Up to four burb skis, one sturge ski. Only four? Yeah. Not sure, was that your plan Don't there? Worry about it. <laughs> yeah, 19 and a half. Alright, so we'll keep that one, I guess. I guess. Woo. And that might that was almost the end of our measuring. <laughs> <laughs> that, was a, that was almost the end of my finger there too. It's a hard smack each time. David's there. finally hooked up. I'm gonna be a nice guy and pull my line out of the way. Oh! You're so lucky. That was about an inch from my eyeball. Was that a decent one there? That was, that, was, that, was a, that was a high 20s. Oh, yeah? <laughs> yeah. That dude, like, that's, that's exactly what happened to you, that earlier. You're just reefing them up too much. Yeah, dude, no, you, I had no, stopped you, you gave them the berries. Mine got, well, all mine got caught on the ice, and I had to let them back down and come bring them back through. Rookie mistake. Dude, I haven't caught a bear bit in like two years, so. Sorry, <laughs> right, I'll get them for you. Folks, that is a wrap for the catching. That was not a wrap for the fishing. We caught our last bear bit at probably like right around midnight, one o'clock, something around that. Got out right about 7 30, 8 o'clock. Set up about 15, 20 minutes before dark. Fish till, shoot, probably four or five in the morning. Slept for hour or two woke up right at the butt crack of dawn right before the army of locals came out i mean we woke up we started fishing again for cohos splake browns white fish whatever we could catch last year when we were in this exact spot this exact time of year first fish we caught was 29 and a half inch white fish caught i think like four or five browns over 25 inches like 27 inch king bunch of coho splake pretty much everything that you can catch in keweenaw bay we caught this year, not so much. I mean, there must have been another 30, 40 groups of guys that started making their way out and just surrounded all around us, but nobody was really catching anything. Fish till, I want to say right around noon the uh, the next day after this and did not catch a, another fish, but it was nice. I, last year, I think we made up to keep on twice. This year, just the one time, but oh, that place will always hold, always hold a special place in my heart. As far as what is to come from Blind Eye Outdoors Fishing Adventures tomorrow, <sighs> open water, hopefully actually successful open water salmon and trout mission. 
Got a spot on Lake Superior we're going to try. If that doesn't work out, got some uh, hints on where to go into the rivers, which, I mean, I hate fishing for salmon and trout in the rivers. I love catching them, but uh, I hate fishing for them because, you know, sometimes you go six, seven times before you even catch a fish. And that's just the way it goes, I know, but it's tough to make a video out of that. Then who just rambling on now, but you know you all already have. But if you haven't hit that subscribe button, thumbs up, thumbs down, go over to our Hunter's Life Facebook page. We have nine spots left until we can fill our raffle. Hopefully we fill it all the way up. If not, we're gonna call it, we're gonna cap it at 11. We're giving it until next Sunday, until we choose the winners. The guide, shout out to you, Timothy Staggs, is already catching, I mean, five, six, seven pound smallies. Fishing's only gonna get better, but it's not gonna get better forever. So it's, uh, at least in the pre-spawn world, you got about two to three weeks on average, I'd say maybe a month if you're real lucky, of real prime, 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 prime time. If you guys are interested, check that out. The, Post is pinned on the top of our Hunter's Life Facebook page. $20 to potentially win the smallmouth trip of a lifetime. But anywho, thank you guys for your support. Until next time, happy adventure.